Welcome to my YouTube channel Space Mania. Today we will talk about SpaceX Dragon. The SpaceX Dragon 2 is a class of reusable spacecraft, developed and manufactured by, American Aerospace Manufacturer, SpaceX, as the successor to Dragon 1. It is a reusable cargo spacecraft. There are two variants, TIE first is Crew Dragon, which a space capsule capable of ferrying up to seven astronauts, and second is Cargo Dragon, an updated replacement for the original Dragon spacecraft. The spacecraft launches atop a Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket and returns to Earth via an ocean splashdown. Unlike its predecessor, the spacecraft can autonomously dock to the International Space Station ISS, instead of being berthed. Crew Dragon is equipped with an integrated launch escape system LES, capable of accelerating the vehicle away from the rocket in an emergency at 11.8 meters s2, 39 feet s2, accomplished using four side-mounted thruster pods, each with two Super Draco engines. Crew Dragon serves as one of two spacecraft that are expected to transport crews to and from the ISS under NASA's commercial crew program, the other being the Boeing CSD-100 Starliner, both craft succeeding the crew orbital transportation capabilities of the U.S. Space Shuttles which retired from service in 2011. Talking about its development and variants. There are two variants, Crew Dragon and Cargo Dragon. Crew Dragon was initially called Dragon Rider, and it was intended from the beginning to support a crew of seven or a combination of crew and cargo. It can perform fully autonomous rendezvous and docking with manual override ability, using the NASA Docking System NDS, for typical missions. Crew Dragon will remain docked to the ISS for a period of 180 days, but is designed to remain on the station for up to 210 days, matching the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. From the beginning of the development process, SpaceX planned to use an integrated pusher launch escape system for the Dragon spacecraft. Now let's talk about its design and interiors. The height of the Dragon is 8.1 meters, whereas diameter is 4 meter. The volume of the capsule is a 9.3 meter cube. Trunk volume is the 37 meter cube. Launch payload mass is 6,000 kg. And return payload mass is 3,000 kg. A Pike IX heat shield protects the capsule during re entry, while a movable ballast reusable nose cone protects the vessel and the docking adapter during ascent and re entry, pivoting on a hinge to enable in space docking and returning to the covered position for re entry and future launches. The trunk is the third structural element of the spacecraft, containing solar panels heat removal radiators, and fins to provide aerodynamic stability during emergency aborts. SD SLED allows more precise attitude control of the spacecraft, during the atmospheric entry phase of the return to Earth and more accurate control of the landing ellipse location. Whole testing process of Dragon SpaceX planned a series of four flight tests for the crewed Dragon, a pad abort test, an uncrewed orbital flight to the ISS, an in-flight abort test, and finally, a 14-day crew demonstration mission to the ISS, which was initially planned for July 2019, but after a Dragon capsule explosion, was delayed to May 2020. Test 1 Pad Abort and Hover Tests The Pad Abort test was conducted successfully on May 6, 2015 at SpaceX's leased SLC-40. The Dragon landed safely in the ocean to the east of the launch pad 99 seconds after the ignition of the Super Draco engines. While a flight like Dragon 2 and Trunk were used for the Pad Abort test, they rested atop a truss structure for the test, rather than a full Falcon 9 rocket. A crash test dummy embedded with a suite of sensors, was placed inside the test vehicle to record acceleration loads and forces at the crew seat, while the remaining six seats were loaded with weights to simulate full passenger load weight. The test objective was to demonstrate sufficient total impulse, thrust, and controllability to conduct a safe pad aboard. A fuel mixture ratio issue was detected after the flight in one of the eight Super Draco engines causing it to underperform but did not materially affect the flight. On November 24, 2015, SpaceX conducted a test of Dragon 2's hovering abilities at the firm's rocket development facility in McGregor, Texas. In a video, the spacecraft is shown suspended by a hoisting cable and igniting its Super Draco engines to hover for about 5 seconds, balancing on its 8 engines firing at reduced thrust to compensate exactly for gravity. The test vehicle was the same capsule that performed the pad abort test earlier in 2015, it was nicknamed Dragonfly. Test 2 Demo 1, Orbital Flight Test The first orbital test of Crew Dragon was an uncrewed mission, officially designated Crew Demo 1 and launched on March 2, 2019 the spacecraft tested the approach and automated docking procedures with the ISS, remained docked until March 8, 2019 then conducted the full re-entry, splashdown and recovery steps to qualify for a crewed mission. 
Life support systems were monitored all along with the test flight. The same capsule was planned to be reused in June 2019 for an in-flight abort test before it exploded on April 20, 2019. The Crew Dragon capsule used in the Demo-1 mission was destroyed in an explosion during static fire testing at the Landing Zone 1 facility. On the day of the explosion, the initial testing of the Crew Dragon's Draco thrusters was successful, with the anomaly occurring during the test of the Super Draco abort system. Telemetry high-speed camera footage, and analysis of recovered debris indicate the problem occurred when a small amount of dinitrogen tetroxide leaked into a helium line used to pressurize the propellant tanks. The leakage occurred during pre-test processing. As a result, the pressurization of the system 100 milliseconds before firing damage the check valve and resulted in the explosion. In-flight abort test The Crew Dragon in-flight abort test was launched on January 19, 2020 at 1530 UTC from LC-39A on a suborbital trajectory to conduct a separation and abort scenario in the troposphere at transonic velocities, shortly after passing through Max-Q, where the vehicle experiences maximum aerodynamic pressure. The Dragon 2 used its Super Draco abort engines to push itself away from the Falcon 9 after an intentional premature engine cutoff. Ten seconds after Dragon 2 was jettisoned, the Falcon 9 exploded and was destroyed. The spacecraft followed its suborbital trajectory to Apogee, at which point the spacecraft's trunk was jettisoned. The smaller Draco engines were then used to orient the vehicle for the descent. All major functions were executed, including separation, engine firings, parachute deployment, and landing. Dragon 2 splashed down at 1538 and 54 seconds up just off the Florida coast in the Atlantic Ocean. The test objective was to demonstrate the ability to safely move away from the ascending rocket under the most challenging atmospheric conditions of the flight trajectory imposing the worst structural stress of a real flight on the rocket and spacecraft. The abort test was performed using a Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket with a fully fueled second stage with a mass simulator replacing the Merlin engine. Demo 2 colon crewed orbital flight test. On April 17, 2020, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine announced the first crewed Crew Dragon Demo 2 to the International Space Station would launch on May 27, 2020. Astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley crewed the mission, marking the first crewed launch to the International Space Station from U.S. soil since STS-135 in July 2011. The original launch was postponed to May 30, 2020 due to weather conditions at the launch site. The second launch attempt was successful, with capsule C-206, later named Endeavour by the crew, launching on 30 May 2020 the capsule successfully docked with the International Space Station on 31 May 2020 on August 2, 2020. Crew Dragon undocked and splashed down successfully in the ocean. SpaceX Crew-1 Mission The first operational mission in the commercial crew program, originally designated USCV-1, United States Crew Vehicle, Mission-1, by NASA, was initially announced in November 2012, with a launch date set for November 2016 inches April 2013. It was announced that the launch would be delayed by one year to November 2017. It was then delayed into 2019 and 2020 pending the success of the uncrewed and crewed demonstration missions, respectively. Following the Crew Dragon demonstration mission 2, Crew 1 was tentatively scheduled for September 2020. Further delays occurred to align with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic restrictions and their impact on the schedule of ISS crew rotations and cargo delivery missions, and then again because of concerns about an issue with the gas generators on the Merlin 1D engines. Here is the prime crew of mission. Spacecraft Commander Michael S. Hopkins, of NASA. Pilot Victor J. Glover of NASA Mission Specialist 1 Soichi Noguchi, of JAXA Mission Specialist 2 Shannon Walker, of NASA Among backup crew, spacecraft commander was Kielan Lindgren, of NASA And Mission Specialist was Koichi Wakata, of JAXA While the Crew Dragon spacecraft is capable of staying in orbit for 210 days, it will return in spring 2021, making it the longest human space mission launched from the U.S taking into account the nearest future flight. The SpaceX Crew-2 will be the second crewed operational flight of a Crew Dragon spacecraft, and the third overall crewed orbital flight. The mission is planned to launch on April 22, 2021. The Crew-2 mission will transport four members of the crew to the International Space Station. On July 28, 2020, JAXA, ESA, and NASA confirmed their astronaut assignments aboard this mission. Spacecraft Commander, Shane Kimbrough of NASA, Expedition 65 Third Spaceflight Pilot NBSP, K. Megan MacArthur, of NASA Expedition 65 
second space flight. Mission Specialist 1, Akihiko Hoshide, of JAXA. Expedition 65. Third space flight. Mission Specialist 2, Thomas Pesquet of ESA. Expedition 65. Second space flight. So this is the whole video about SpaceX Dragon. If you like the video please like and share. And do subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more interesting space tech videos. Thank you.